Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here. Say it with me now. Just in time. That's right, just in time for another state park virtual experience, virtual tour. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know I use two different cameras to give you two different kind of first person view and a VR. So that other one, if you use your cell phone, you can actually you can look 300, you, you can look all over the place. Anyway, check that out. I think you might find it interesting. We have journeyed to Nevada and are, and are on our way back. And we just, out of the blue, stopped at Pikachu Peak State Park. This is in Arizona. This is the first Arizona State Park that the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow has visited. Let me get my camera set. Sun is setting, so we gotta hurry. Cause you're gonna get glaring the camera. We can't have too much glare on the lens. You won't be able to see nothing. So we better get with it, dude. Come on. Find us some cool tunes. they've got a, a really nice little display trail set up for you it gives you all the pertinent facts about the Pachaco Pass skirmish and this is also the, the trail was blazed by a Mormon infantry company. There is a marker for them down here. Of course, you know, I always go the opposite. Got to. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to cut this trail right here so you can see this monument. I think this monument's pretty, pretty significant in that those troopers, those Mormon troopers, they marched. They hold the record for the longest infantry march. According to that sign back there, that placard, they came through here during the Mexican War, the War with Mexico. I'm not sure if that was, uh, that must have been after said the war with Mexico. They didn't say which one. There were a couple. All right. And then on up that road is the trailhead. Uh, I guess we're here. We might as well go. So 
Bayou's area. With lots of walking trails, hiking trails. So there's a couple of trailheads. This is one of them. There's another one over there. We're not going to ride up that one because the sun is setting. It's, it's heading south. I guess actually the sun is heading west around the globe. Unless you subscribe to the flat earth theory. And then it's about to disappear on one side and reappear on the other. Back in sight, so I don't get that. 
Harry throws the back in if you can't go the opposite direction. We're going the wrong way. I don't know what I'm talking about. When we rode in, we didn't have reservations. I just saw this on the map this morning and said, yeah, that looks good. Call. I said, first come, first serve only. Because it's the day of. If it was yesterday, I could have made a reservation. But we freestyle. What I'm finding is majority of the sites are, are pretty level, pretty flat. If you're, if you're looking for a pull through, there are two that are really good. That one, whatever number this one is, there's the number. Hold on. Okay, so that's the 11. Pretty flat. Doesn't the patio the sun a seven? So we're in a three, which our patio directly on the sun, but it's super flat. Lots of flat sides with power. All right, let's go check out B. Uh, B. There into the bright sunshine. Look around here. Look at the Go the wrong direction. I don't think anybody really cares. Sunset campsite right there. B19. You wouldn't want to use those during July and August though. B18. B10. Great view looking at the big lump of rock, whatever you call that. Exit, but fear not. 
I have a trick up my sleeve. Vehicles only down that road. Must be something top secret down there. Stuff to 
guess here, but I think we're approaching the end. <laughs> Trails close at sunset. Well, <laughs> I think that's funny. That says additional parking and restrooms that way. Good luck with that! And that brought us to the end at Camp 21. And if you want to learn about that, you can either pause this or you can jump over to the experiential video I shot and I'm shooting at the exact same time I'm shooting this one. Hold on. We got to have a cover. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, dropped it. And why do we need a cover, you may ask? Because the sun is extremely bright and I have to give you the respect you deserve because my hair is... <laughs> All right, we have reached the end of our ride through Pachaco Peak State Park. Pachaco Peak. Not Pikachu Peak. Of course, if you've got kids that are into that, they, they might want to go to Pikachu Peak. There may be one up there. Hey, if you found some entertainment value or information, please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, that's why I'm here. That's why I get to look at that. How cool is that? And for my patrons, I'm most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?